government officials. There's no smoking gun yet in the Una oil story, so we'll have to wait for that, but probably it will come out. But you know, just to give you a sense of the risk, in Brazil, uh, hundreds of business people caught up with another oil company, this one, Petrobras, have gone to prison, they've been indicted, it's an enormous corruption scandal, foreign companies are involved, and, Michelle, don't forget, the head of the biggest construction company in Latin America, mm -hmm. Odebrecht, has been sentenced to 19 years in prison. So this has become very serious, and for investors looking at emerging markets, for example, if they don't cover, follow these corruption stories in Malaysia, Ukraine, Brazil, um, and of course South Africa, many of which are tied to oil, and of course, and add to that Nigeria, yep. then I think they're, they're making a mistake. Frank, really quickly, have we gotten to a real turning point, do you think, when it comes to corruption in the world? It's country by country. I think Brazil is on the edge, South Africa's on the edge, but we've got a long way to go when you look at Russia, one of the most corrupt countries in the world, using oil as a major tool for corruption.